Hello there, welcome to another budgeting video. Today we're gonna to be chatting about my spending in March and what my plans are for April. Okay, so we're gonna dive right into it. So I mentioned before, I usually do most of my spending in two checking accounts. So we have a variable checking and a fixed checking. Starting off in the variable side where I do the majority of my spending. Starting balance remain the same at $1,001. Salary's the same as it's already salary from a prior month. So this is February's salary that I'm using in March. So available balance $2,845. All of these bills stay the same. So subscriptions $4. Electricity $67. Internet $42. Actually, this was higher. So I think I mentioned I switch internet providers. So this is the new bill and like a part of the old bill combined. Groceries came in a little bit higher. So 412. Gas came in under 105. Wellness. So I spent a good amount of money here. I usually do spend a lot of money in wellness. <laughs> Cause I just like to take care of myself or I have lots of <laughs> issues to be taken care of, not sure. But uh, $12 on medication, supplements, $8. And then um, I did open swim. I'm in some classes, but I was trying to like get more practice. So I went to open swim and that cost $7. And then I know I mentioned that I already bought eyeglasses, but they were like quite heavy. So I went to order some other eyeglasses, which made my head hurt. <laughs> so I'm supposed to get another pair from them. We'll see. But glasses and contacts were $201. Then in terms of home, I spent more money here as well. So $77. I got some flowers for $37. I went to a, I guess it was a pop-up shop in the, what are they called? Sling, not necessarily a thrift store that does have like used clothing, jewelry, shoes, etc. It's just like a step above that. Consignment store. Yeah, there we go. So I went to a consignment store and they had this like whole thing. So I ended up getting some flowers there that were like very expensive, but they were beautiful. So I was like, that's fine. And I was like in the moment, like living my best life. I did like a whole solo date thing. So I went to brunch by myself, went to the consignment store, bought some flowers, bought a candle <laughs> that's included in the home section. And then I bought a couple pieces that I'll show you in a few. Car maintenance, I spent $5 on a car wash. Movies is the same from last month. So I went to see Dune, as I mentioned. Okay, clothing. I spent a bit of money on clothing. I've been telling you guys that I've been looking for like a few statement pieces. So we'll go over what I got here in a few. So $3.25. Okay, so I've been looking for some evening dresses because I'm going to the ballet, like I mentioned, in summer, but like just in general, I needed evening dresses that were like not winter ones. So I got this really nice silk one. It's by Helmut Lang. This I got from Sex Off Fifth. Like Sex Off Fifth is like, as they say, that girl, because I was not gonna pay full price for this. Uh, but it's actually really nice and like drapes really nice on the body. It's like a halter neck effectively. And then at the consignment store, I got these two blouses. Everything is similar. Like I have a theme that I'm going for here, clearly. I really like uh, silk and, well, I mostly like silk, but these are satin. But um, I just thought it was really cute. It's a tie front detail. And I think I'm gonna wear this actually tonight. I'm going on a date tonight. So I think this is fitting. <laughs> and then um, I guess the focus is set to where I was before. So hopefully you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, then this other blouse is from the consignment store. I actually wore it on another date already. It just came out the wash, it was a little wrinkled, but it's super cute. So it's not actually a tie front. Like the ties go around your body and like tie in the back, but it's like really cute and it has these buttons on the bottom. And then this, I actually saw on TJ Maxx and then it was really expensive on TJ Maxx. So I did like a Google search and found it on the actual designer's website for like way cheaper. So in preparation for my Africa trip, cause we're going to Tanzania, uh, so beach vacation. So I got this set, which is like absolutely adorable. It's like a crochet set. So I'm really excited to like wear this <laughs> on the beach. So I got these and then I got some jeans. We'll talk about those. Okay, so I told you about my whole jean shopping debacle last month. I basically had to return like $700 worth of jeans that I bought from Abercrombie that did not fit. I mean, like I bought a bunch to figure out what would fit, but like none of them fit. So. <laughs> 
what I learned from that is that only one particular style of jeans from them fits for me and they're the call the loose jean I believe so these are in the curve love range which means effectively the waist is smaller I'm gonna zip these up I've been wearing them so <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, the waist is smaller than the hip ratio by like about a couple inches, two inches they claim. So I got two pairs, one in a medium wash and then a black pair because I love a black jean moment. But this is kind of what they look like here. But they're actually pretty flattering on. There's a little bit of gap in the back, but literally like about an inch or so so not like gaping like i'm not afraid to like bend over in these which is like the goal <laughs> effectively okay moving on jewelry actually ended up buying something else so i bought these earrings i've been wearing them like in every video for like the last few videos <laughs> obsessed for now but usually that's how it goes with like jewelry like i'll wear like one piece for a long time and then like switch it out but uh, i really like these earrings a so 302 so in addition to the earrings i got this pearl necklace i guess i'm on a pearl kick but uh effectively <laughs> it's uh supposed to be a choker but it's like i think it's a couple inches too long for a choker but it fits like really nicely it's like 16 inches so it drops like about here, which is usually where I like my necklaces to drop. So yeah, pearl and like gold beads. I think it was a hundred and something dollars. And then totally trees we already talked about last month and then dating. <laughs> so I spent $110 on, I think it's a bumble premium. So effectively that allows you to see the people that you have matched with because I really got tired of swiping. Like there's something dehumanizing about swiping. I do not like swiping <laughs> at all. I much prefer for, I suppose, for the men to find me or for the men that are interested in me to find me because I'm just, I just have a really hard time like picking men myself because I'm like hypercritical, which doesn't bode well. However, if like someone is interested in me, I'll like do the due diligence to like look through their profile, read about them, see what they're saying. And I'm more likely to choose them based on the fact that they already like me, so. <laughs> All of that to say, I spent $110 for like three months of Bumble Premium. And it's been okay so far. I've met a couple, actually I've met, actually I'm not sure what the ratio of guys, like I use that and I use Hinge, but for sure, like the guy that I'm going out with tonight, I met him on Bumble, but I think that was before I had the premium feature. And then I met another guy after that I picked with a premium feature. So we'll see, it's only for three months. And I think after that, I'm not gonna pay for it. Like the whole, impetus to do it is because they like show you like you have all these matches but you can't see them and of course i was like okay let me see what's in this pile of matches and i'm gonna tell you like it's not worth it when you see like who has liked you you're just like you might have been better off just swiping so <laughs> I doubt I'm gonna get like a future months of it, but it's been fun for now, especially to know that summer's coming up. So yeah, there's that. So bills, $158, living, $827, extra $774, spending total, $1,759. With an balance of 1086 On the fixed checking side, starting balance stayed the same. $1,741, salary $646. Available balance, $2,387. Bills turned out to be the same. So home taxes and fees, $250. Cell phone, $80. With the ending balance of $2,057. So let's see, what did we spend the most money on? Living came in at 39%, extra 37. Bills, 23%. So income, $2,490. Spending, $2,089 with a difference of $400. Now we're going to move on to April. Okay, so we're once again halfway through April. <laughs> I could not get it together video-wise, but I know you guys love these videos, so better late than never. So starting balance, I usually clear this account out just to have $1,000 for the month because that's basically all I need in this account. A salary, $2,000. 489 with an available balance of 3489 subscriptions the usual four dollars this is for the new york times electricity came in at 60 dollars 
internet this is a normal price now it's gonna be 45 dollars which is so much nicer than that i don't know what they were trying to charge me like 80 bucks or something and that was gonna be a no <laughs> So, bills total 109, groceries, budgeting 425, gas, we're gonna keep at 105, because I've been driving more because of all these social activities. <laughs> So yeah, but that's fine. I figure it's worth it. Wellness. So once again, I'm spending a bunch of money here, but this was not FUD money. So I spent $16 on medication and then I had to pay a medical bill for $6.42. As you guys know, I have an HSA now. So I'm in this period, usually in the beginning of the year where you have to meet your deductible. So I'm having to pay out of pocket for a lot of things, which is not fun. But if you haven't already seen, I just did a video about investing and uh, there are so many benefits using an HSA to invest in that is worth it for me to like pay these bills like out of pocket like up front so there's something if you you know want to hack your money moving on so home I spent $31 what did I get so far oh I got a silk pillowcase from H&M I had purchased one because the problem the thing with silk pillowcases is that they only sell them for the majority of people only sell them one each, which is not great because they're really expensive anyway. So it's like one is expensive and two is just like not great. So anyway, I had bought one last year from H&M or a couple years back. And like they usually have it every year. This year it was on clearance though. So I got the other one. So now I have like a set, which is like ideal. I mean, <laughs> It's just me sleeping my in my bed in theory, but it's just nice to have like matching uh, pillowcases. So spent $31 on that car maintenance. So I do have to go in for, uh, I don't know, oil change and whatever other things that they like to add to these maintenance schedules for Lexus. But every time I go there, the price is always more than what's quoted on the website. So I'm not really enthused about it. In fact, I'm like trying to push it down to like the last minute. Like uh, I think I'm at the 20K mileage mark, but I'm not totally there yet. Like I'll probably get there next month. So I think I'm gonna like push it out till next month because I'm just not in the mood for these bills, <laughs> like honestly. Uh, moving on. So let's copy these over. I've already done some spending, of course, since we're halfway through the month. So we'll talk about that. All right, clothing, $38. Okay, so I already told you guys that I'm going to the PJ Championships. So I needed like a golf outfit. So H&M had this super cute set. So I had to jump on it. So these I have already worn. They're basically crop like sports tops. And, and then I got a, this is a tennis skirt in theory, but like golf and tennis outfits are quite similar. The only problem is I got this in a medium and it's too big. However, when I went to get the small, of course it was sold out as with all things that are like good on H&M, <laughs> like they immediately sell out. So I think I'm gonna have to get it altered, which is kind of annoying, but it's like, this outfit is like too cute. Like it has to be worn, so. <laughs> There's that. And then toiletries. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I spelled toiletries wrong here. Okay, now it's good. So toiletries, Sephora sale. So of course I partake in the Sephora sale. It's basically the only time I go to Sephora or if I can use my like $10. It's not really a coupon. Effectively you're using your points as a dollar amount to like get money off whatever you're buying. So that's the only time I shop at Sephora. And they're having their Sephora VIB sale and I lost my Rouge status last year because Amazon and Ulta like had really good sales and things were cheaper on their side. So I bought more beauty products from them than I normally did prior to the sale but this year like the sales were not that good like Amazon I'm not nothing that I wanted was on sale prior to the sale and then uh Ulta like I don't know like they don't send me notifications about what's going on so I never know what's going on with their sales even though I'm like in theory signed up to the email list so anyway needless to say I only have VIB status so it took a while for me to order and then I put in my order I will leave uh everything that I have ordered in the description box so you can see like things that I always buy and then some new things that I purchased and then we'll go through the things in the follow video to this so starting next month but I want you guys to see like what I have in case like you want to buy stuff during the sale but I ended up spending $700 at Sephora so <laughs> 
it is justified in some ways because I literally ran out of body products, which is a first for me. Like I usually have like a stock pot, but I'm trying to like declutter and like not have as much things. Anyway, because of that, I ended up running out of things, which was not fun. So the last few weeks have been rough in my department, but uh, totally true. It's 307, makeup 43, hair care 32, skincare 431. And then on one of my dates, we went to a bookstore, so I ended up buying a book. So this is, we went to a used bookstore. It was super cute. Really great date idea, actually. So this is Beauty's Punishment. This is by Anne Rice. So of course I was drawn to it because it's like old and like tattered, which I just thought was like so fun. Anne Rice. She's written several novels, but she wrote Interview with a Vampire. If you haven't seen that movie, highly suggest you watch it, especially if you like vampires. It's like really good. Um, this is not a vampire movie. In fact, this is a erotica <laughs> book, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, I read like the first couple pages and I was intrigued. So I was like, I'll just buy it and see what the rest is about. But I haven't gotten to it yet because I'm reading another book. But yeah, something for you if <laughs> that's up your alley. Uh, all right. So living was $1,219. That's a good amount of money. Extra $768 with a spending total of $2,096. So the imbalance $1,393. On the fixed checking side, we have a starting balance of 2,386 salary 646 with an available balance of $3,032 home taxes and fees 250 as usual my insurance for my car was due it's quite expensive now so it's billed semi-annually but you can split it in two so this is like a quarter of the payment so five 27 and then cell phone is the usual at $70. So let's see, do we have everything in? Yes. All right, income 3,135, spending 2,943. Bills so far 957, living 1,219. And then extra 768 with a difference of $192. So a little bit of an expensive month so far. It's only halfway through. So <laughs> we'll see how the rest of the month goes. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.